I think I'm live. Right. Hi, everyone. You'll notice that I'm still on my weird green camera. Um, and uh, my mic isn't hooked up, so I'm hoping that the sound is okay in your end. Um, my, I have computer issues, and uh, my old computer died, and I'm on a, uh, a, a reconstituted one from the 1990s, more or less. Um, so, so I'm recording this um, not via my usual software, and um, everything is just weird. Um, but I have a, a couple of lists for you today from Randy in the US, and um, we're going to go over them. The, the lists have sort of trickled out at this point. Um, I think a lot of people are just waiting for version 3, and not much is happening. The, the last few tournaments have, have run and not much is happening. So um, version two is done, ladies and gentlemen, and we're all just sitting waiting around for, for version three to drop. So uh, while I wait uh, for version three to drop for me so I can get on that and start recording stuff, um, start analyzing stuff as well, I'll make this video for you guys and uh, release it. Uh, it's... Um, it's my usual format of, of just giving a little bit of feedback on on people's lists. And um, these two are for a tournament that Randy is, uh, is going to. I think it's his last um, version two tournament. So um, let's go and check him out. Now, Randy is, as I am myself, a British player by heart. He is a Gurkha player, even. Um, so, so I'm expecting to see, like, uh, the cheese is a version two you can possibly get here, right? 1250 points, 16 order dies. We have an inexperienced lieutenant. He's paying the tax. He's got Gurkha sections. So he's got a 10 man. Woo, that is large Gurkha sections here. Two 10 man Gurkha sections. If you have 1250 points, I think I'd rather put some of those points into other units at this point. You don't. Typically, you don't need 10-man Gurkha sections, right? Free artillery observer, up and Adam, because it's just good, too, too good not to take. A sniper team, the airborne recce team, and that's one of the things that you could shift out with something like a little harder if you wanted to. A Bulfus AA truck, that could also be shifted out with something a little harder, but it is very, very good. It's a heavy automatic cannon. He's bought it veteran, so he can outflank with it. Um, which is a nice little bonus. Second platoon is another lieutenant, in, uh, regular this one. Maybe that's because of um, tournament rules, I don't know. Uh, you could say points there. And two eight-man Gurkha sections here, just the way I run them. I like them eight-man. Um, gives me a little redundancy. Canadian uh, engineers with a flamethrower, regular. It's always nice to have that one flamethrower in your list. Medium artillery piece, veteran. That's a howitzer. Um, veteran, oh, it's very, very good. It's very, very survivable. I just think that points for value, the, the 25 pound of the lighthouse is just a little more valuable for its points. Another uh, airborne recce jeep, very, very good. Very cheap for the points. An LVT, which highly recommend trying this this out. It's very difficult to get to work, but when you do get it to work, it's really cool. Um, and it can support 30 guys. So that's all your Gurkhas, basically, more or less. A 15 CVT truck for the, the one unit that he can't put in. Um, oh, and by the way, if you save the points, Randy, this inexperienced, uh, it just sucks having that minus one to hit, right? And a Wasp Flamethrower Carrier as the final tank. I would have taken the Darker Steward, absolutely would have, but the Wasp is an interesting little choice. Uh, it's a nice one. So that's the first platoon here. Let's look at the second one. It's again, Brits, 16 order dice, 1250. So basically we're choosing for Randy which one we think is best here, right? Inexperienced Lieutenant, again, the two Gurkha sections. So he's he's not changing the basic here, the forward artillery server, the Arvin Adam sniper team. Airborne Reiki Jeep, three-ton truck. So here comes uh, something new. It's a long truck. It can carry in 29 people, so a lot of people. And the darkest steward here. Um, 
just so good for the points, isn't it? Another inexperienced lieutenant, two Gurkha sections, eight man. Yep, yep, yep. Royal Canadian Engineer, medium hounds again, Elbow Raker Jeep, a truck again, and another Daka Stewart. For me, Randy, for me, the second platoon is stronger. Um, I'm not sure I agree with all the choices we've already, I've already said the medium hounds. I'm not massively a fan of buying that. Um, just because light hounds, a uh, 25 pounder is, is very valuable, valuable for the money. But this is a really, really strong platoon. I think, I think for me, this is a 4.5 or a five. It's very difficult to change anything. The, the, these two Gurkha sections are a little too big. The, the veteran, um, the, the veteran, um, Sniper team and the veteran uh, howitzer are, of course, uh, a little harder than they potentially need to be. Um, could have put points in something else, but what would you put the points in anyway, right? So, yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is, I think, perhaps the final list for version two. And we are finishing off strong with... Uh, potentially what was the best of version two, the, the strongest lists here. Um, if people know how to, how to play them, I've said this all through version two, but it's not the list that wins your games. Yes, it will help. It's not the list that wins your games. It's the player. It's the skill with that list. Um, and um, I've seen a lot of mediocre players try to play Gurkhas and just fail miserably. So, yeah. It takes skill and it takes practice and it takes a little bit of understanding of how your units work in, in, in a synergy with each other. Right. That was it for me. And um, thank you so much for all the lists that's been sent in all through version two. Once we get into version three, there's a link to my email in the description. You can send your lists and I will critique them and give you feedback. Right. I will see you in more videos. Most of it will be version three from now on. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Cheers.